Hello everyone, welcome back to Switch Up and to that episode midweek where we try and destroy your backlog even further with a 50 to 95% off sale. A big thanks to all of you that have been using our 5% cashback thing on the old website. It's over at switchup.gg when you buy your eShop credit. You don't have to do anything fancy, you'll just get 5% in cashback ready for your next purchase and we get a tiny little kickback from Nintendo. So let's not beat around the bush. What are the best games on sale midweek? Well, my name is Mark Walker. Welcome back to Switch Up. Now let's find out. First up then, and very fitting with the season, we've got Killer Frequency. Glenn did a review for this one on the channel. I'll pop a link to that in the description. But it's down to 66% off, £7.13, that's by far the cheapest it's ever been. And with the sale that goes all the way until November the 11th, certainly a good time to pick it up. It's set in 1987, within a small town known as Gallows Creek in America. And you play as Forrest Nash, who I believe has come from the big city to this small place to operate as a radio DJ, a bit of a, uh, a fall from grace really. And the various townspeople turn to him for help. You'll be operating the phone line as people dial in, having to make real-time decisions based on what they're saying, and also solving puzzles. And by all accounts, it's a very good game, as I say, a bit of a hidden gem. Go check out his full review if you're interested. The sale for Killer Frequency goes on until November the 11th. All right, thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this episode. I've been using these for my rock climbing a few times a week. Very good headphones. And today we're looking at the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Yep, the Everyday Earbuds are made to make your everyday just a bit easier. And ways that they do that include having a 32 hour battery life and multi-point connectivity that lets you pair with two devices at once. Then we've got the active noise cancellation. You can actually hold your finger down on one of the earbuds and it will switch to a separate mode that boosts the volume of outside items so that you can still hear things when you're using them. You can actually quickly connect between devices. They've also got a quick charge function with just 10 minutes of charging time yielding 90 minutes of battery life which is uh, pretty good when you just want a quick charge before you go out somewhere. Best of all I think for me is that it's weatherproof so it's got an IP66 rating and it comes with these different cases which come in a variety of different styles just to give them that extra layer of protection. Obviously you can pair these to your Nintendo Switch that's what I tend to use mine for or when I'm rock climbing and you can go and buy a Raycon get 20 to 50% off site-wide when you go to buyraycon.com slash switch up. Nice one, that's a nice little discount. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this episode. Next up, we've got Batura Lost Haven. Now, I believe Astin did a full review of this for us. That's down 80% to £3.99. And it's like an action adventure RPG where you're working your way through a variety of different alien planets. And it centers around Avril, who's lost her entire family and spends most of her time just struggling to survive. It's got this combat system I remember actually from Asdin's review where it's split between the sun and the moon. And you can change that on the fly to do damage to certain types of enemies. There are multiple endings as well, which is something you don't always see. And the puzzles, they're not going to set the world on fire, but they're interesting enough and he certainly enjoyed it. It's published by Team 17, it's developed by Stormmind Games, it is single player only, but yeah, easily the cheapest it's ever been, it's 80% off until November the 11th. In the US you've got Layers of Fear Legacy down 85% to $2.99. If you like a psychological thriller, scary game essentially, then this one might appeal to you. You play as a slightly unusual artist who's working on completing his masterpiece within this, I guess, traditional haunted house setting. And it uses things like environmental manipulation and audio cues to build its atmosphere and make it quite terrifying, I gotta be honest. As you complete that painting, the house gets more and more corrupted. And while by the end it does lose a little bit of its jump scare impact, there are certainly some moments here that you'll remember. I've actually played this one in VR. <laughs> I don't recommend it. It's Layers of Fear Legacy though, 85% off. That sale goes on until November the 4th. Also in the US regions, you've got a lovely discount on the game Pine. That's down 80%, but you've only got a couple of days to pick that up. Now, you might not know anything about this one. It's got a bit of an interesting backstory on the channel. It's an open world survival game with these mechanics where you can basically join different tribes and influence their own little nations. But sadly, when it first launched on Switch, it was just a complete disaster. It was one of the messiest launches I've ever seen. And we weren't overly 
nice essentially to the uh, to the experience that it provided but those developers worked for years to get it into a good shape and eventually we were able to revisit it and it was playable enjoyable and genuinely quite an intuitive and enjoyable experience to give you an example all of these factions are living out their lives regardless of what you do but you can have a big influence on if they survive or not so if you befriend one side you could then fight alongside them or you could go to their rivals steal the rivals food and essentially starve them out of their home if that happens they'll have to migrate to another area and that could actually cause a conflict with another one it's really clever that they managed to pull that off and it's not something you even realize initially until you really start to delve beneath the surface as i say that sale for pine is 80 percent off it takes it down to just four dollars 99 or your regional equivalent and it ends in two days so if you're gonna consider it consider it fast if you enjoy boss rushes and cutting out basically all the rubbish then mech extermination force at 89 pence is probably a good uh, a good option you're fighting against massive bosses it's from the guys that created the um gunman clive games do you remember do you remember those they're decent games those there's a ton of different weapons and upgrades this one actually also features co-op which doesn't get spoken about quite as much but if you're as i say if you enjoy no nonsense boss rush then this is a really you could do a lot worse than this it's just 635 megs as well and at 89 pence it's not going to put too much of a dent in your wallet that sale goes on until october the 30th I was so impressed with the game Demon Turf. It reminds me of Mario 64 in so many ways. You've got your hub area where you leave to different stages. And while they start out reasonably safe, they get very complex the further you go on. You get new abilities allowing you to hover. It does feel like something, it's almost like the anti-Mario, especially I guess with a title like Demon Turf. But it's also quite beautiful at times. It has an interesting art style, but you enter some stages, like there's one on an island, that really do look lovely. Now the controls are very tight. It's got that unique style as I say and for those that want to push into really mastering it it also does accommodate things like speed running it's a massive game as well and there is actually an expansion pack available I think that's called Demon Turf Neon Splash so if you haven't got that that's also on sale but this one it's 50% off and that sale goes on until October 24th If you're after an old school adventure, then you might want to consider Scrap Riders. It definitely gave me full throttle vibes when I first played it, but it's down 65% to $6.99 or your regional equivalent. And as you can probably see, it's a pixel art adventure with a bit of a cyberpunk future twist where you play as a chap named Rast, who's a member of a biker gang called the Scrap Riders. It's interesting this, because on the one hand, it is an old school adventure and you're doing your little point and click style bit. You're actually controlling the character directly. Then on the other, there are these puzzles that are introduced that are quite um, complex. I wasn't really expecting them at the time. It's got a decent soundtrack as well. I think the thing this really succeeds at is having a like a sense of sense of place. Like you really do feel like you're within this this world. A good one. Perhaps tries to be a bit too funny at times and doesn't always pull it off. But generally, I enjoyed myself. The sale for Scrap Riders that goes, as I say, until October the 29th. A double pack including Lacuna and Encodia might be a good option. It's down 90% to $4.49 or your regional equivalent. Now Lacuna I have played quite a bit of actually. You play as what's known as a CDI agent called Neil Conrad. He wakes up to find out there's been a murder and you just set straight off. The environments are really well done. It has that lovely look of the classics. Felt like I was playing Future Wars again, but a little more polished than that particular title. Whereas Neo Berlin in Codia is a 3D environment and actually a completely different take on the same setting, I guess, or a similar setting. They're both adventure games, but at 90% off, if you do like that genre, like I obviously do, then certainly worth considering. That sale goes on until October 25th. It's Tina, my human. I must protect her. Find Sim. Raji and Ancient Epic is very much like old school 
God of War. You've got a similar combat system, except obviously a very different setup in terms of narrative. It starts out where there's a new war taking place between demons and the gods, with the demons challenging them, essentially as a comeback after they were wrecked for the last several millennia. Now humanity in the meantime has basically lost everything it learned about the various mystical arts, as such aren't really in a position to fight back when this all washes up on their doorstep, and the main protagonist is separated from their sibling when the demons attack. And I'm sure you can figure out the rest. You go on a big epic adventure, you learn loads of skills, you become stupidly powerful and defeat the big bad. Now Raji and Ancient Epic also had a big patch after launch which actually changed some of the gameplay mechanics, improved performance as well and this one runs really well, looks good and at 75% off, worth considering the sale goes on until October the 20th. The hidden gem this week then is a game called Summum Eterna. This is down 70% to £5 and 2 pence, and it's basically a very fast paced roguelite that relies on precise hack and slash action where you play as, yeah, the immortal king of darkness, which explains the roguelite element because obviously when you die you just respawn, keeping your progress between runs. So yeah, when you die that progression is always registered in your skill tree, you're constantly getting stronger and any improvements you've unlocked in the world as well stay unlocked. There's an element of random seed generation to the environments as well so that the experience is never exactly the same. And I'd say it took some inspiration in its weapons from something like Bloodborne. You've got swords, but you've also got pistols and scythes. And as you can see, really fast paced, enjoyable little roguelite actually, I have to say. It has online leaderboards as well, so if that's something you like to chase, you can go after those with awards for gold, silver and bronze positions, but good luck getting anywhere near them. A nice little gem, 70% off, and that sale goes on until November the 6th. Now I do want to add in one extra little honourable mention really, it's not on a massive sale but it's a pre-order discount of 10% on Blazing Strike which is being created by essentially just one person. It's a really good fighting game that uses things like rollback net code, it runs at 60 FPS, it looks fantastic and there are 14 different playable characters including a couple of hidden ones. We're hoping to have a full video of this one as well. But yeah, I just wanted to give it a little mention really. If you're a fighting game fan, maybe stick it on your wish list and keep an eye out for when we release that full video. As I say, that's 10% off until it launches on the 17th. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks to the sponsor, as I said. All the links to that will be in the description and the top pinned comment. A thank you to our Patreons, our members, all of you that enjoy the content. For all things Switch, all the time, keep your Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!